This is the Laser Pecker 2. You should know that I asked Laser Pecker to send me a unit to try out, but they're not seeing this video before I publish. So I'm gonna tell you the good and bad of the machine and how to use it in your business. When I unboxed this laser, I noticed that it came packaged really well. And these small boxes are what gave me the idea for this video. I saw these little images on the packages and I immediately started thinking about this laser as a custom branding machine. Not only could I engrave my work, I could engrave my packaging. About 10 years ago, my wife got me this branding iron. Man, I would brand everything. The problem was there was only one design that I could brand into my projects. So if you have various logo options to choose from, you'll need different branding irons for each application. I know that I'm stating the obvious, but that means even if it's the same logo, if you want a different size, you'll need a different branding iron. The results of your brand are completely dependent on how hot the iron is and how still you are when you're branding. With the Laser Pecker 2, you can position your workpiece and know the finished product will turn out exactly the way you want every time. There's no more guessing if you pull the iron away from the engraving if it'll be too dark or not dark enough, because there is nothing more frustrating than having to reposition a hot iron back over the piece to get a darker look. I had so much fun playing with this machine and because it's extremely portable, I found myself repeating the same process as when I first got my branding iron. I tested it on tables and chairs and not even the dog was safe. When I say this machine is portable, I mean completely portable. While you can plug this thing into an outlet, you can also use the included battery to work remotely. Not even my branding iron can do that. You can remove the unit from the stand and run your engraving right on the work surface, or you can use it in a variety of other ways, which I'll show you in a moment. Branding is so much more than having a memorable logo. Branding is your company's image. When people open something from Apple, they talk about the packaging almost as much as they talk about the finished product. Think about it, the package may be their first interaction with your brand. If it looks great, they're gonna tell their friends about it. If it looks bad, they're gonna tell your subscribers about it. I'm gonna show you how you can make a big impression with this little machine. Obviously, you have to have a great product for people to become frequent buyers and write good reviews, but packaging can go a long way. It's also a good idea to have a variety of images to use. It's hard to reflect your brand in a singular image that will appear everywhere from products to packaging. This is called a lockup, and designers will often package your branding into multiple images for different purposes. You may use one design to engrave the bottom of your project, but then on your website or packaging, you'll have a complementary set of images that also help tell the story of your brand. Good thing is with this laser, you can fully customize your imaging. I had my buddy Darren send over some of the images from this lockup for his Cajun Spice Company. I tested out different variations of the images and placement on these boxes so I could show you the versatility of this machine. Not only can you use the laser to engrave the products by customizing the boxes, you add a little bit of extra quality and personalization to impress your customers. You could do this with the box being flat, or you can set the laser on top of the box if you've already packaged your product. You can also run the preview mode to see exactly where the engraving is gonna go. I've seen lots of people make jigs to position their branding irons in the same spot for batch work, which you can certainly do with this machine too, but it's not totally necessary. Whether you're setting up to engrave your project or put some of your designs on the package, there's a few different ways that you can go about setting the machine up for the various functions, like on this motorized stand, setting it directly on your work surface, holding it up on the wall or under a table, using the rotary, or even flipping the rotary over to turn it into something hopefully your cat won't chase. There's not much to cover on the assembly of this unit because you basically plug in the different components and it's ready to go. In fact, it's so consistent, you won't need one of your wife's cutting boards to play with before feeling confident just hitting that start button on your phone. That's right, all you need to operate it is your phone or tablet. Once you get the machine set up and download the app, it's only a few taps of the screen before the laser is up and running, engraving your old cutting boards because after all, none of us is perfect and old habits are hard to break. You can take literally any image from your camera roll and customize the look you're going for right in the software. It could be anything from your logo to photos. 
With the unit's ability to be a standalone laser, there's really no height restriction to the laser. You can just set it with its protective cone on the surface you want to engrave, and it will be the right focal height for your engraving. It's time to talk about a big drawback of this machine, and ironically, it's its size. The area is pretty limited as far as what you can engrave. The working area is 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. So that's just under four inches by four inches. However, you can increase that working area to 100 by 2000 millimeters, and that's with this rotary. This machine is a 450 nanometer Galvo laser. You may notice there's no gantry the laser runs on like many of the other lasers I've reviewed. And that's because the Galvo laser operates by sending the laser to a mirror that does all of the rotation inside this head unit and sends the beam down to the work surface. Because there's no gantry and the laser does the work through the mirror, when you position it on this rotary upside down, it turns into a trolley. It's not gonna go super fast, but it does increase the length of what you can engrave. It won't, however, be able to do anything wider than 100 millimeters. The speed of the engraving is completely dependent on the material and settings that you choose. There are three different resolution settings for this laser, which are 1000, 1300, and 2000, and it can engrave up to 600 millimeters per second, which is really handy if you're standing up with your arm engraving up against vertical surfaces. I've seen on the Laser Pecker YouTube channel and a few of my friends' Instagram pages, videos of them holding the laser up to engrave vertically. While you can technically do this, I don't recommend it because you have to keep the laser very steady to get a good engraving. And I'm not strong enough to keep my arm up like this for longer than 60 seconds. I barely held on long enough to get this small 50 millimeter square engraving on the storage cabinet. You can engrave a four inch coaster in about four minutes at a very high resolution and smaller projects in about 30 to 40 seconds. From a speed perspective, the machine is fairly quick, but most larger diodes run about 600 millimeters per second these days, so it's comparable to others in the market. If all you're doing is smaller projects, this machine works perfectly for that, and it's very fast. This machine can engrave many of the same materials like other diode machines. Like with any laser, you'll want to run some tests to determine the best settings, but the app gives you a really good starting point when you select the material you're engraving. I did find I usually had to increase the depth by about 10 to 15% over the recommended settings to get a little darker engraving on most surfaces. But overall, the quality of the engravings is pretty good on your typical materials like wood, cardboard, and leather. I wasn't impressed at all with the quality on Slate. For this type of engraving, I'll probably be sticking with some of my other machines. Here's a few examples of how I would package up some products to take advantage of the versatility of this machine. Have a few images that complement each other, with some being your obvious logo, but then with other elements that help tell the story. Including dates or locations in smaller elements is a great way to tell a story in just a few characters. Combine all of the elements together and impress your customers. The Laser Packer 2 basic package normally runs $999, but they often run deals, so at the time of this recording, it only costs $699. There are various packages in between that and the one that I've shown in this video, which is now on sale for $1,049. Check out the links in the description with all of the latest information and see what they have to offer. If you found some value in this video, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.